Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got my Monaco back and uh, we need to wash this on the exterior and pretty much wash it on the interior too. So um, what I'm going to do here today is with the time that I have allotted, um, wash this first, of course, exterior wash it because Lord knows when this has been washed last. And next, after that, I'm going to vacuum out the exterior of the car. You can see I've got some osium there. I've got some more osium right here. And uh, we're going to basically try to scrub what we can with a bucket. And uh, <laughs> honestly, with, with a bucket and soap and see what we can do to get this clean. Now I do have wherever it may be um, in my mess of tools and everything here, I do have a, I think it's a Hoover um, carpet cleaner, which is actually in that cabinet there. So what we're gonna do is basically just try to vacuum out what we can from here on the carpet and the seats and the back. Vacuum out we can, what we can and then we're going to go through with a scrub brush and with some soap and water or some uh, cleaner and water, whatever I've got there, some solution and just clean the living hell right out of this vehicle here. So what I want to do right now is before I even open up any of that osium is wash the vehicle. I got to wash it first and I'm going to wash my volts here too because I need to, uh, oh, I've got a door ding right there nice so i need to uh wash the volt and then i can wash this at the same time and uh then we can start with the exterior all right guys this is how far we've got with my monaco so far so i washed it with some mcguire's uh wash and wax and of course i'm not nearly done on the exterior here but what i had to do and this took me the probably about four hours here. Um, I had to shampoo the whole inside of the car, so seats and carpet, I did that. Of course, I vacuumed what I could out beforehand, and of course, once this dries, I'll vacuum it again. And then what I had to do was essentially take everything out of the trunk, and you could see the remnants of everything there. I mean, it was all full of mouse piss and, and mouse poop, and. And I, I just essentially needed to take out everything from the uh, uh, vehicle. I mean, I really did. So I needed to take that out of the car. Um, I did spray, and I might have to do this again. I did spray some osium in here as well. Uh, just the spray type osium. And I did put an osium... Uh, two osium gel packs in there. Let me see if I can actually find what I threw in the garbage, but I can't. Uh, I just use an osium spray thing. I'm probably gonna have to buy a few more because of the fact that, and yes, the light is on. I have the battery tender hooked up, so we should be okay, but I really had to go through this whole thing and just scrub and scrub and scrub. And you can still see there is a stain there. Um, and I, what I thought was stains is just thinning fabric as well. But uh, it's getting cleaner. Every single one of these, and you can see here, I need to really take some cleaning materials to that as well, which I will do when the time comes. But every single one of these vents was full of mouse, like insulation. And I had to go through with the pliers, actually, with this little pliers and pick all of that out while the car was running in order to vacuum, and I had the vacuum going at the same time. Now, I may have to use two hands for this. Nope, I don't. So, as you can see, I just, I sprayed a little bit of osium in here because we've got fabric in the back. I put a one single uh, dryer sheet in there and I put an osium right here, osium odor eliminator, just that gel pack. I did notice when I was taking everything off that there is some uh, rust area right there. 
I'm going to have to put some sort of, around the golf course here, I'll be able to find some sort of uh, tin or steel just to put over that for the time being. But uh, I had to tear everything out. And now if I want to put anything in the trunk here, I guess what I'm going to have to do is just lay some towels down and do it the old-fashioned way because there was no way. This fabric here was so bad and this is this is not even bad stuff here but it was you could see how cracked oh god it's like it's just oh it just stinks it's like it's oil covered but it's piss it's mouse piss and mouse poop so what i needed to do was just tear it all out and that's the way she goes i've got the jack and everything there i'll put that back in eventually but that's uh just what i needed to do with it so right now, I'm just going to close the trunk and I'm actually just going to let the osium, if it'll close. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit. I needed to let the osium do its work. You can see there's even a mouse turd right there, but I need to take some cleaner to the interior here and just kind of use a soft bristle brush and essentially clean the interior of the vehicle uh, maybe probably with some all-purpose cleaner and just to get some of those icky stains and everything out of there but i've got the dehumidifier running right next to the vehicle along with the fan trying to blow in the most you know that i can to dry some of this stuff and i'm going to essentially going to let this just air dry here the next few days sitting in the shop i've got my fan on high i've got these fans here uh, doing what they can to essentially take away what moisture that is in there out and then hopefully we should be good but the engine runs strong here um, that is for sure yeah it does need a little bit of a cleaning but that's the least of my worries right now um, I just wanted to get the interior bearable right now. It just is not bearable to sit in because of the mouse stink here. So um, I think we've got everything cleaned out, you know, the way that I, I the best that I could do, I guess. Um, while I was using that here, I did try this uh, Chemical Guys Foaming Citrus Fabric Clean Carpet and Upholstery Shampoo. Uh, so it, it removes stains and owners for carpet seats and floor mats here. I threw the floor mats out, but this is essentially what I used with a nice scrub brush, a few scrub brushes, a large size scrub brush, a medium size, and then a small size, which I should actually have over here still. Yeah, you can see what I used right there. And then I have a small little tiny brush as well, sort of like a golf cup cleaner that I use. But there's just so many nicks and crannies here that look at that. I mean, I vacuum, but I'm going to have to re-vacuum because this is just so full of shit. So I left the suds right on the seats. I don't care. I left the suds right on the seats. I left the suds right in here. I don't care. Um, it needs all the deodorizing it can get. I'm definitely going to get more osium. I'm a little worried about the smell coming out of the vents here. Um, I may need to, uh, figure out where the fan is for that and maybe vacuum or clean or something here. I guess I'm not totally sure. I should vacuum that out anyway. So that's kind of the plan for right now um otherwise the monaco lives and uh we're in the process of of you know correcting just getting the paint to shine a little bit more correcting it a little bit and uh hopefully getting this interior you know dried i'm really worried here that i may not be able to get it to come back to its original smell which is nothing. So uh, we may be relying a lot on osium and uh, you know, I gotta vacuum it again, but overall the car looks, I mean, the car is great. Here's the problem. It had been sitting for six years 
before uh, it, it got to me. And of course, I'm only the second owner of this car. It was bought from Swamp Brothers in Barron. So it's going to sit here for the next few days until, you know, I can, and I'm not worried about this stuff right now. I've got all winter where it's gonna be sitting in a shop and where I can work on the interior where it's not going to be driven. So uh, essentially here, I just wanna get this drivable for the last few nice days of fall that are left. And then I'll deal with all the other interior stuff after that. But I gotta get this interior dried out. I gotta get the smell out of there and then we should be good to go. I would highly assume, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's in, it's in great condition for a 78 one owner, somebody who didn't really take care of the car. It's in great condition. Um, I'm very happy with it so far. It kicks ass. It sounds great when you start it up. Now with this exhaust on here, oh my goodness. It, it just is a real, real Mopar, so. With that being said, guys, we'll see you in the next episode. Like and subscribe for some more awesome Mopar content. And uh, we'll see you later.